If you haven't heard it by now, less than two weeks ago, the entire internet lost its crap over the Peloton bike commercial. Let's roll the clip and let's see what the world's talking about. Okay, you ready? Yes. Now. A Peloton? It's the commercial that really shocked the world and the internet when this thin, attractive lady got a Peloton bike for Christmas. I mean, it's really insane. Like, people just took it like crazy. Oh, wow, she went from 104 pounds to 102 pounds. She's super thin. Why does she need exercise? Oh, I didn't realize how much this would change me. And all they were trying to do was just promote an exercise bike. I'm sure the marketing department was just flipped upside down when they were like, oh my God, this thing has just caused controversy all over the internet. I mean, the video got, what, 10,000 likes, 17,000 dislikes, but over 4.5 million views. That's insane. Even if just 1% of the population bought that, let's say that exercise bike's about $2,300, it would have been like $103 million or even half a percent of the population. 53 million, so the commercial would have paid off. But what I wanna show you next is what Ryan Reynolds and Aviation Jid did that was just the marketing plan of the year. They got the same actress and they played her in their commercial. Let's roll the clip. So as you can see here, she's just a disbelief of, wow, my husband gave me that exercise bike. The internet broke down. I'm just drinking my miseries away. This gin is really smooth. Yeah. We can get you another one if you like. You're safe here. Her friends are offering emotional support. To new beginnings. To, to new, new beginnings. beginnings. And she's gonna have a good night. There you go. It's gonna be a fun night. She's just trying to ease her mind off of what just happened. Really? Mm-hmm. You look great, by the way. Powerful marketing. And guys, it's all fictitious. It all started with a fake wife and a fake husband and fake kids and giving the gift of exercise. You would have never known what kind of condition she might have been in. Maybe she had a heart condition and a doctor said that, hey, you should exercise a little bit more because you have high cholesterol and high blood pressure and it would be better for your heart. Oh, a whole year went by and she barely changed. Change is on the insides, not always on the outsides. First, I didn't even think anything of it. When I saw the ad, I'm like, okay, a Peloton ad. But then when I went to the internet and I started seeing all these YouTubers and the news and the media and Inside Edition and everybody was talking about it, I was just blown away. It blew my mind. If anything, it's some bad publicity, which isn't really bad publicity. It's a freaking exercise bike. It's good publicity. You got 4.5 million views. Most people that put a video out on YouTube never gets that traction in their entire lifetime. So great job to Peloton for doing that. I think that's just gonna get the buzz talking about it. What's even funnier is that Aviation Gin completely capitalized on that and put that same actress in their gin commercial when she's drinking down a martini. Genius. So I really think that even took the edge off and was just telling the world, dude, chill out. This girl is a fake fictitious woman playing a part in a role for an exercise bike trying to display a message of hey let's get in shape and Ryan's over here like hey let's use the same girl and say how my fake marriage broke down I mean it's funny but let's get down to the real point here you know the internet went crazy oh this is sexist oh a thin girl just looking the exact same way after a year later like what if it was a fat person or someone who was overweight, then like all these fat phobic people or in a body positive movement would have jumped on top of that. They would have completely just lost their crap saying, oh, she should be happy the way she is. Like no one is happy no matter what you do or what information you put out. Even this video could get a dislike or two or maybe more. No matter what video is out on the internet, there's gonna be some likes and there's gonna be some dislikes. No one's gonna agree on the same thing. I think for this holiday season, this is probably the most supposedly controversial ad and it wasn't even that wild. People were all ranting and raving saying, oh, someone gave me an exercise bike, that's gonna end in divorce. It's like, no, it's just trying to help you. You know, one of my best clients I have right now, her husband bought her personal training. And we started on this journey and at first she was like, oh my God, I can't believe you did this. He likes to surprise his wife and he had very good intentions. And she didn't even want to do it at first. And if you're watching, I'm not going to call her out. She was ecstatic when she had her results because she couldn't even squat in a chair on two feet. So what her husband did was end up saving her mobility and helping save her life. And in return, after he was training with another trainer, he got connected to me because the trainer dipped out and things weren't working out. So I took over, 
I started working with him and it became a really good thing. He had a hip injury from a bicycle accident, believe it or not, and he was hit by a car. Thank God he was okay. I was able to take him in and we rehabbed him after he went through his physical therapy and that hip is actually doing a lot better than the other hip that was injured over two years ago when he was in another bicycle accident. Peloton is not a bad thing. One of my clients was involved in two bicycle accidents and then gave up bicycling. He loved it. And if he's watching this video, it probably even breaks his heart a little bit that he doesn't do it anymore because it's unsafe. So with Peloton, it's not a bad idea. You're indoors. It's completely safe. It's very hard to hurt yourself since it's joint friendly exercise. And there's a whole internet online community that's going to give you camaraderie, praise and props for you getting on the bike and hopping on there and giving it your all. And there's a little bit of sense of competition. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. And if anything, it was one of the best marketing pieces this year. And I think it was great the internet broke down. Who cares if the video got a bunch of dislikes? The fact is, this holiday season, you're going to remember Peloton bike ad controversy. And I think they succeeded and the internet did Peloton a favor because their names talked about, so what if the stocks drop down? Hell, crypto stocks can drop 20% in a week sometimes. And so what if the Peloton stock dropped 9 or 10%? That's not bad. All it means is the stock's on the discount. So go ahead and buy some. I just had to create this video because I thought it was hilarious. I love what Ryan Reynolds and Aviation Jen did. They got the same actress. They put her from the Peloton bike commercial into their Jen commercial, and that thing went viral too. He's a marketing genius. I wanted to talk about this today and just tell the world, hey, lighten up. If someone gives you an exercise gift or personal training or any kind of lessons and they want to better your health, it's not that they're trying to call you fat. It's not trying to say that they're out of shape. They're not trying to shame you. They want to help you. Anytime that I've tried to offer my advice to someone or critique their form, give them exercise tips or nutrition advice, I just wanted the better life for them because no one did that for me. I wish someone would have called me out when I was 13 and would have said, hey, listen, you need to do this right now or you could die tomorrow. I mean, it didn't happen like that. With my childhood, I was made fun of. I was picked on. I didn't get into the play on all the team sports. I was called a fat ass. And that shit just built up. Even one of my close friends of mine at the time said, you don't have the genetics or you don't have the ability to get in shape. And I was like, that's, that's freaking bullshit. So I ended up doing whatever I could. I lost 50 pounds in three months. And unfortunately, I lost the weight too fast. I'm OCD. I am a little crazy. I wish I would have done it a lot slower so my body would have had time to adjust to all the weight loss so I didn't have as much loose skin. That took years to work and to build and to strengthen and to tighten my core and I'm still working on it today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like. What do you think about the Peloton bike commercial? And what do you think about Ryan Reynolds' Aviation Gen ad? Was that a good marketing play? How do you feel about getting exercise equipment for Christmas? Leave the comments down below and I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell because I'm dishing out the latest content here in 2020 talking about fitness, nutrition, mobility, and even a little bit of snowboarding in this winter season. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.